I am down in Torquay for the first Meet the Owner of 2022. I'm with Rob. Hello, Rob. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So Rob's got this Berto 1380, which is a quite a classic looking boat really, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, we, it appealed to us. It's um, She's 20 years old. Yep. Um, but uh, it doesn't look 20 years old in our opinion. Um, but yeah, she's got the classic lines, um, obviously the flybridge, and um, that was what appealed to us, a bit more space from where we were before. The one thing I notice about it is it's got really wide side decks and you've got these wooden cappings on here and there's also all that sort of slightly, almost trolley yacht sort of feel to it, isn't there? Yeah, it has got a bit of that, you're right. From, yeah, from a safety point of view, we do like the wide uh, gangway because my daughter's nine years old and right. when she's wandering around, there's a lot more room and a bit more safety. But yeah. uh, yes, just getting access to the sun deck is, is a lot easier than it was on our previous boat. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. We'll have a chat about that uh, in a little while, but perhaps we can go on board and have a look through this one if we may. Yes, of course. One of the things I noticed on the outside here, you've obviously got a wrap done on here. Yes, it, it uh, was in quite good condition before. Um, we had it highly polished, um, but we just felt just to bring it up to sort of contemporary feel, um, we'd, we'd put that on. And I think that was money well spent. Yeah. And uh, it's just lifted it a bit. Um, it was quite, with the white boat and the size of the boat, it was just quite a big mass. Um, so I think just putting the grey on it, just make it look a little bit smaller if, if that's possible. But obviously yeah. she's a big boat. She's a big boat. Yeah, um, absolutely. And obviously on the sides and uh, on the back as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we, 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 uh, we're very pleased with that. That was money well spent. Obviously. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, let's have a stroll around. You've done quite a lot to this one, I understand. Yes, it was... Um, uh, we had a, a chap that we use uh, who sort of it was a bit of a project for him and uh, the previous owner uh, sadly died, not on the boat, I don't <laughs> think, unfortunately, um, but uh, so he, we inherited, it was in a probate estate, so yeah. um, it sort of needed a bit of work when it came out of that because obviously it was sat here for about a year, I think. Right. So uh, he basically did the whole refurb on it from front to back, um, internally and externally. Um, so she's had a really good makeover, yeah. um, which I can't take credit for, but um, Richard did obviously a good job of doing that. Brilliant. That's um, Richard Allen from RPA Boat Sales, isn't it? We'll, right. we'll give him a bit of a name check yeah. <laughs> in case he's watching. <laughs> yes, you'll be pleased for that mention. But, uh, Brilliant. Okay, let's have a wander on then and then we can have a, have a stroll through. Yeah, we like, obviously, we put a bit of chairs in there just to make it a bit more usable. But um, yeah. obviously, we've got a nice area here. All the seats have been replaced as well. That was all redone. The canopy does need uh, probably changing, but we'll, we'll get around to that. Uh, one thing we do like is the space we've got under here as well for storage. Uh -huh. um, for, again, comparing with our previous boat, we've got three big lockers here that we can get most of our things in and ropes and, and fenders, which are always you know, keep it nice and clear, and yeah. particularly when we're using it. So, um, so we, we like this area very much. Mm -hmm. And you go through to. Oh yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So, what's been done in here? Um, all the furnishings have been changed, and uh, new fabric, uh, new carpets, um, new fridges, which was quite a nice uh, bonus because they could be quite expensive. Yeah. Um, from previous experience and um, basically all the, the ceilings have been they've not been replaced but they've all been cleaned and new curtains new blinds um, wow so yeah quite a big makeover i think there was a new oven and um we've had a new dashboard on here oh right uh obviously the fusion system which everybody <laughs> is keen on yeah it's nice and upgraded speakers obviously which yeah. have all been done uh, new steering wheel, which obviously makes a bit of a difference from the old one. Yeah, it's a detail sometimes, isn't it? That just really yeah, lifts it. It's not an expensive one, but it makes um, really lifted the cabin, we thought that. Yeah, and you've yeah. got this is the cherry wood, I think, in here, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's obviously showing its age a bit, but it still comes up well. And I prefer it to the newer styles. I know some people like the newer styles, the darker woods, but. It's warmer, isn't it? Yeah, we just feel it's more in keeping with the, you know, obviously being a French boat and everything. It's, yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got a good size fridge, so we've got two of those, uh -huh. um, which is nice. For, one for drink and one for food. Yeah, uh, brilliant. You can see the place for the microwave there, which is uh, quite yeah. handy for 
away. Yeah, and you've got the gas cooking on this one as well, by the look of it. Yeah, we, we've definitely used this more uh, for cooking, particularly having that outdoor space there. Yeah. And we've had already had some friends over for dinner, which was nice because people enjoy coming on a boat for dinner if they're not used to it. So, yeah, totally. Uh, so that yeah. was nice. We've managed to carry that table out through the door and, and managed to fit that in the back there as well, which is brilliant. Which is a nice bonus. And it's three cabin layout, I think. Yeah, three cabins and uh, obviously two uh, two bathrooms as well. Excellent. So you've got the two cabins here. Yeah, that this one's one... made up in a in a double. Uh, okay, so that's an infill that comes out of there. Yeah, that's a quite a good room. So we had that made. Um, just before, obviously that was part of the thing that uh, the Richard did for us. So they yeah. were made up just to put in there. You can take them out if you want to go back to a, you know, two singles. Yeah. Um, and we, what we like about this boat is the is the wardrobes as well. Little right. things like that when you're on a, a holiday, you know, because we had only had two wardrobes in the previous one. Yeah. You're always comparing, aren't you? With <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally, totally. Yeah, and I think as well, you know, if you've got a few people down, because I think you use this with your family, don't you? Yeah, um, yeah, we've had family down last weekend, which was really nice for the first time. Yeah, and, uh, we couldn't have done that before, so that was a that was a nice nice thing. And it means people can just get their stuff away rather than living out of bags, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So tripping over shoes and whatever. So <laughs> fantastic. Um, so uh, we've got another cabin over on this side. Uh, bedroom. Uh, it's, uh, okay. <laughs> She oh, does, we've had a TV in there as well. Uh, right, yep. So that's all. She's, uh, hence Georgina, obviously Georgina Daisy, uh, name of the boat, so perfect. named after her. Excellent, well that's a win isn't it? Well it's a second boat, she's only nine. So <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Okay, and then owner's cabin forward? Yep. So again, we've, obviously it's a good sized bird and you can yep. get around it, which you can't always do on other boats. Yeah. Again, good storage, which we, we particularly like. It's had a new head cover at the back. Nice. Um, which has all been done. Yeah. And uh, obviously the on suite. So we have got a, a proper shower, which was one of our wish lists. Ah, yes, brilliant. Oh, so this has got this circular fellow that comes around here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got you. We had, again, we've not had that. So that was a nice. So you just go into the marina in the morning. Oh, that's, that's one thing I really love actually, the proper shower on yeah. the boat. So, as you say, you don't have to sort of rely on the facilities that the marina's got. Yeah. Or if you're on a mooring, you know, then you've got everything there that's as well, right. which is great. Yeah. And obviously, electric toilets. So they were upgraded as well. Yeah. Um, and there's a day heads on this one as well, I think, isn't there? Two toilets. There is, yeah. I'll just forget that one. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, and you've got shower in there as well, of course. Yeah, so it's more of like a wet room. Yeah. Uh, it does work, it does work well. Brilliant. Okay, let's have a wander around the outside then, if we may. I think there's a flybridge that we could have a look at, isn't there? Yep. Well, that's a decent size, isn't it? Yeah. So again, uh, prior to uh, us having it, all the seats were replaced. Yep. And all the cushions. Right. Um, there's obviously another fridge under there as well, which is oh, okay. a beer fridge. That's a nice idea. Ah, uh, yep, gotcha. Yeah, got the water. There. Yep, and the sink there as well. Another sink there, which is all changed. Yeah, that's quite a change actually to drive it from up here, because I've never had a flybridge before. So right. That takes quite a bit of getting used to. Yes. And used to sort of being down a bit lower. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you, you get obviously a great view. Yes. When you're coming in and out. Yeah. And yeah, uh, absolutely. And we can see the fore deck from here as well, actually. Let's have a yeah. wander up and have a look over there. Just look. I'll show you the size of it. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. It gets the pulse racing when you're coming in. Seeing when you're, the bow thrust is on and everything. But yeah. yeah. Actually, with the weight of the boat, um, which is what written, like, from people who were saying to me, you'll find the weight of the boat just stop it blowing around a bit, which I have to say, so far, that's that's true, you know. She, yeah. Because I think she's 12 tonnes dry or 13 tonnes dry, which, you know, it's quite a weight. Um, yeah, so no, absolutely. it's obviously a lot bigger, you do get a little bit more chance to recover if something goes wrong or... Uh, yeah, I've found that actually with bigger boats sometimes they're easier to handle. Yeah. For that very reason, because a small boat gets blown around. Yeah. Whereas a bigger boat's a bit more planted, isn't it? That's right. It sits yeah. in the water a bit better. The only thing is, once they do start blowing, you've got a lot more momentum <laughs> to stop, haven't you? You have. Yeah, that's true. 
Excellent. Let's have a look at the engines then, if we may. Yep. I think that's 74p's. Okay, yep. Right. Sounds about right. Yeah. 480 horsepower. That's deeper performance, I think. Yes. That's right. So, they're in quite good shape, actually, for... Uh, ah, about excellent. 900 hours. Right. And you've got the generator there as well, I see. Yeah. Which is a nice bonus. Oh, they are clean, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, they've just had, it, well, obviously not long ago service, but they were in pretty good shape, I think. They sound amazing when you fire them up. Like <laughs> 480 brakes, brake horsepower, obviously times two. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. You've, you've got a thousand horsepower there, haven't you? Nice, damn it. Nice sound. Um, we were out the other day, actually, and with my friend, and I, I said, well, that boat sounds nice, and he said, it's your boat. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> we didn't realise it was ours. It was like, well, a real deep throttle sort of noise. Yeah. And conventional shaft drive, so that's nice and simple. Yeah. Because I don't think you need so much servicing on that. Is that no, right? exactly right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to service the outdrives. Um, a lot, year. a lot less. Yeah. Um, a lot less to go wrong as well, which is good. But yeah, it was pretty dry down there. And uh -huh. Lights, you know, all fitted and worked. So brilliant. And what sort of speed do you get with those? Do you know? We um, tried to flash out yet? Not, I think the mat. I've right. Not, um, I've only done it once. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she'll get up to thirty. But. Happy at 22, 23, yeah. you know, on the plane. Yeah. I think she'll just sit there all day at that. But, yeah, and that's um, what we all cruise at, isn't it, if we're honest? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, she's, um, I think, with a with 30 knots with a bit of wind behind her, she could do that, which is, yeah. which is not bad. Yeah. But uh, but when the turbos kick in, and it, you know, you, you Yeah, you get that rush, don't you, as it goes. It's a lovely uh, sensation, yeah. Yeah. Right. For real? Okay. Well, if we may then, could we have a little sit inside and have a chat about your yes, boating and your boating history? That's always interesting for, for well, for me to know and for everybody to know, really. Yeah. So, what was your first boat? When did you start boating and how did you start boating? Uh, well, my first uh, uh, watercraft was actually jet skis. That's oh, where really? I started. So oh, okay. Off the East Coast in Hunstanton. Um, yeah. Had a few of those, which um, taught me a respect for the sea. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the weather can be quite challenging there. And, on a jet ski you know it does give you a, a real experience of the water and the power of the sea so i really enjoyed that uh then i sort of got a bit uh, tired of that so we we bought a speedboat which was 17 foot um with an outboard mm -hmm. uh, which was lovely that was my first proper boat yeah. um, and then one day we were trying to get it launched at Hunstanton with the brown sea and <laughs> I thought that there's got to be a better way of doing it than this. So we ended up taking that down to Spain to a friend of ours who had a, a place down there. Yeah. And um, that's where that stayed then for sort of a few years. Um, and then I bought a uh, Larson 220. Oh, I know. Cabrio. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, the dealer local to the to in the Spanish town was a, a, a Larson dealer. So right. Um, we had a bit of a fetish for, for last, and so we ended up there with a 260 yep. about three years later. Um, then we sold that and sort of had a break from boating for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then a friend of mine bought a boat down in Torquay and had got asked me to sort of get uh, you know, to try and help a little bit. So I got involved, and then I realized that actually I quite missed you know, the, the, the sea, and obviously I hadn't had a boat in England at all, really, yeah. apart from the jet ski. And, uh, so we ended up going back to a Larson again, which was a 274. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a nice boat, uh, which got me back in the, in, into the habit of it, you know. And um, so we had that for a year. And then we had a Fairline 34 Targa. Lovely. Which was a really nice boat. Yeah. Really liked that boat. Um, and she was nice. And so we kept that about 18 months. And then we decided we needed something a bit bigger, mm -hmm. as you do. Yep. They shrink when you get them wet, don't they? <laughs> That's right. And also we were using it more as a sort of a holiday home. So um, the accommodation was quite important to us, having the extra rooms for, for friends and family. Yeah. And obviously just the, the differences of having a slightly larger boat. So um, this was, there's an opportunity to, to buy this one. Um, and the dealer wanted my boat and it all sort of happened quite seamlessly. So um, it all, we ended up buying this, which was, we knew was in the pipeline being refurbished. And uh, it ticked all the boxes, so it was it was quite an easy deal for us in that respect. Yeah. Um, and uh, so this is where we are now with with this one. So I'm very happy with it. So how long have you actually owned this one? Uh, we've only had it a couple of months. Right. So, so first season. 
first season we've only, we've only actually been out on it three times right um and richard came out a couple of times with us just to give us a bit of a, a lesson on it because obviously it's a different type of boat to what we're used to very um, much so yeah and uh so yeah the last time we went out i brought it in and it was uh, it was good really enjoyed it and uh so yeah we're really enjoying this one and uh nice the family can enjoy it yeah totally totally yeah. and and what plans have you got with it where, where are you hoping to go with it um we're probably going to stay fairly local this year just get to grips with it i think yeah. um we'd like to go to dartmouth and probably stay overnight there we've not done that yet mm -hmm. um obviously that's not a huge trip but um, <laughs> no. I mean, she's capable i'm guessing of doing going anywhere really yeah um, absolutely i mean cross channel this but no problem yeah. at all in the right weather so we definitely want to do something a bit more adventurous probably the isle of wight perhaps yep. uh, this year if we if we have a chance uh -huh. and then maybe do a you know maybe to the channel islands or something like that that would be quite a nice trip um, yeah and uh I think with the the weight and the engines on this, it would be quite you know, quite a seamless trip. I think. Yeah, definitely. So, but it's just having the confidence, isn't it? Getting used to the boat. And yeah. Its reliability and all the other things that, that go into it. Yeah, I think um, you've got to sort of build up to it a little bit, haven't you? You know, you do your Dartmouth trip, and you think, oh, we're okay, we'll go to Solcombe, and then that's okay, and then you think, well, let's try going, you know, and that's how you build up, I think, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, it is. Get yeah. the confidence in the boat, get the confidence in your handling of the boat, and yeah, and, and just gradually expand your horizons. And I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, obviously it's, it's it's a responsibility when you go out, isn't it, for yeah. for yourself and other people. So you've got to, you know, got to be very right, but. Uh, but no, we're very happy with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, obviously, most of the time we probably use it here as a as a sort of a you know seventy five percent of the time she's probably in the marina. But it's ideal for that. And yeah, we're, we're very happy with that, and we like the, the you know the MDL is very good, and the services we get there. So yeah, we're very pleased. Yeah. Brilliant. And where do you actually live? I mean, because obviously it's a bit of a holiday home for you from the sound of it. We actually live in Leicestershire. Oh wow! Well, that's a so yeah, that's a trip. it can be a track. I mean, we we probably do it in three and a half hours. Right. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Um, but we did have, as I said, we had some experience in Norfolk, but we like the the coastline here. And it's beautiful. Yeah. It's just it's worth that extra bit of driving to get here, and um, obviously the the fact we can go so many different places on this on this a on this bay is amazing. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. So. I think that's the thing. I mean, I've been boating here for. <laughs> I dread to think, it must be 35, getting on for 40 years. I mean, I was boating here as a, as a child with the father had a boat on River Dart. Yeah. And you never actually get bored of it. There's always somewhere that you can go. You can think, well, we'll go up the River Dart, we'll go down to Sulcombe, we'll, we'll go up to across Lime Bay, we'll go down to Plymouth or Sulcombe or Foy. Yeah. Um, you know, and everything, if you've got a, a reasonably fast boat, you know, a 20 knot planing boat, then even on a weekend, there's there's always a you know if the weather's reasonable a dozen places you can go every you know without yeah you know, probably two dozen you know yeah. and that's a nice thing about this area it's easy boating and it's beautiful and you don't even need to go very far you just go out and anchor in the bay sometimes yeah, and that's, that's what you need yeah i mean talk about this as you know this bay is like you know it very well um, but it's a lovely area and um, there's some lovely little areas you can pull in yeah um it's quite nice we can obviously anchor a bit uh, i guess a bit deeper in this boat than we have done before yeah because um, obviously we uh, with the longer anchor chain and everything like that, so we've got to get have a bit of practice with that. But but yeah, sometimes we're just happy just to go out and and just go to Brixham and you know anchor it. We'll go and have lunch and come back. It's you don't have to go far to to have an enjoying you know enjoyment out of it. So um, no, it's just yeah. the experience of being on the water, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's yeah. weird. If, if you've got the bug, as you know. It's, 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 <laughs> yes. It's a bad bug to have sometimes, but it's um, but yeah, we've all. I'm a family. Jackie and uh, Georgina love the the water as well, so it's yeah. nice for her to have that experience. Her daughter as well, so yeah, um, and so she's really enjoying it, which is good. Fantastic, and I think actually it is a really really good family sport because there's something in there for everybody, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and the, well, with this boat, we need all we do need the help, you know. So, yeah. um, but uh, you know, she's well trained in sort of getting the ropes on and so forth so yeah um, it's a bit more panic coming in you've got to obviously be a bit more aware of what each other's doing so yeah. um but yeah but it's a good team it's a, and uh, that's what we it's just about big enough uh, you know small enough rather to to not be too big to go out you know some of the boats in the 60s and you know we wouldn't be interested in that i don't think but um i think this is just about the right size i, I won't want to go any bigger than 45 foot or <laughs> famous last words well, yeah i'll come and see you in a couple of years he was saying yeah i think 60 foot's about it for yeah, us yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, think, I think we'll we'll stop at this Sounds yeah good. 
Pretty yeah. Simple. No, well, I mean, it gives you you've got three cabins, two toilets, a nice saloon area here. I mean, it, and and serious, serious heatkeeping. I mean, it does everything you need, really, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it ticks all the boxes, and um, and value for money. You know, I think it's you know for it's a lot of boat for the money. I think as yeah. well, which is which is good. Yeah. So. Brilliant. Well, there we go. I think that's probably pretty much covered it. However, there's one exciting thing which which you are going to be the very first recipient of, because bear with me a second. Okay. This will make more sense as it comes out. I was contacted. Let's do some very ropey filming as I undo this. Here we go. By a company called Carabar. And they said, we'd like to give you, for your meet the owners, to make a lot more sense in a minute. All right. <laughs> one of our Carabars. So they sent me some of these. Yeah. And the idea is that it sits on these little legs. If we just unscrew that and pop it in there and screw that on the bottom of it yeah intriguing yep I'm still not sure what it is bear with me <laughs> <laughs> there we go there's another one there there you go and you pop it on your table your glasses oh, go in here oh that's good isn't it oh, wow. like that there's even I can find it that's for your peanuts. Oh, there you go. Okay. That is a aquaholic carabar. They're not for sale. Well, the carabars are for sale, but the aquaholic ones are a limited edition. Right. And there we go. And you are the first recipient. We've got some more of those. So we'll meet the owners this year. Oh, thank you very much. They're going to get a carabar. I oh, really enjoy that. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's a handy little thing. We got one on our boat, and it's um, it just means that you know when the boat's rocking around at an anchor or whatever, everything doesn't go sliding off the table. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. Thank you. Really enjoy that. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> so that's it. That's Rob and his Berto Antars 1380. I got that right, didn't I? You did, yeah. <laughs> Let us know what you think of that. I think that's a really lovely boat. And, um, and we'll look forward to catching you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.